Hi, my name is Emmy with Tablespoon and you're watching Holiday Hacks. If I told you you could make two desserts at the same time, would you believe me? Keep watching because today we're gonna make a two-in-one holiday cookie bar. We're gonna start with a package of Betty Crocker cookie mix and we're gonna make this according to package directions while my oven is preheating to 350 degrees. So now that my dough is ready, I'm gonna cut it into two and separate it into a separate bowl. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. We are gonna take our two doughs and turn them into two completely different flavors of cookie bar and then put them both in the same pan. We're gonna start with this one. This is gonna be our sugar cookie one. We're gonna add a tablespoon of sprinkles. And then a quarter cup of candy. and just mix that together. Now we're gonna move on to our chocolate cookie base. We're gonna take some cocoa powder and a little bit of water and mix that together in a bowl. Okay, now that that's a nice chocolate paste, I'm gonna put that in our dough and then to this, we're also gonna add chocolate chips and half of the white chocolate chips. We're gonna save the other half of the white for drizzling on top later. Now that our doughs are done, we're gonna put them in this pan which I've already greased. We're gonna put one dough on one side and one on the other. You want to get in there with your fingers. Make sure that spreads out evenly. Okay, now it's time for the chocolate. Before this goes in the oven, I'm just going to cover the sugar cookie side with some more of the candy. And then I went ahead and preheated my oven to 350. I'll just pop this in for 20 minutes and it'll be ready. All right, our bars are done. We gave the sugar cookie side some love with some more candies on top. Now it's time to dress the chocolate side. I went ahead and microwaved the rest of our white chocolate and put it in a little Ziploc bag. Now I'm just gonna drizzle some on top. Grab some scissors. Just snip the end there. And then drizzle. And that's it. Two bars for the price of one. Now we just have to wait for the white chocolate to cool and set, and then all that's left to do is decide which one to dig into first. For more holiday hacks, head over to tablespoon.com or click the link in our bio. Happy baking.